<laughs> nice. This week's episode was originally just going to be about stingrays, but during my research, I stumbled onto a few insane looking news stories about a female stingray that may have been impregnated by a male shark. I especially like the Daily Mail article with the typo malicious birth when they clearly meant miraculous birth. My mom was in labor for 48 hours with me, so the only malicious birth around here was mine. Now, I'm no marine biologist. I just play one on television. But still, I was a tad skeptical about this whole situation. Sharks and rays are very different looking animals, but they're more closely related than you might expect, both belonging to the class Elasmobranchii. But what is an Elasmobranch? Can a shark and a ray make babies? And if so, do we call them shrays or rarks? We'll find the answer to all these questions and more as we continue exploring the Tree of Life. Elasmobranchs are a class of ancient cartilaginous fishes that include all modern sharks, rays, skates, plus a few oddballs like sawfish and electric rays. These animals are known as cartilaginous because they have a skeleton made of cartilage rather than bone. Do me a favor and yank on the top of your ear a little bit. Great, now pick your nose. That firm yet flexible material you feel under your skin is cartilage. While less rigid than bone, cartilage is much lighter, allowing elasmobranchs to expend less energy while swimming. And much to the chagrin of paleontologists, cartilage is much less likely to fossil than bone. So the majority of what we know about extinct shark and ray species has been learned by studying their teeth. Thankfully, there is no shortage of teeth to be studied. Humans go through two sets of teeth in their lifetime. One little set of baby teeth that fall out to be replaced by adult teeth. Sharks and rays do things a little bit differently. This is a vial of stingray teeth. I ripped them out of a stingray's mouth with my bare hands. Kidding, they were a gift from a friend of mine that works at an aquarium. She often finds teeth at the bottom of the stingray tank because they are regularly shed and replaced during the animal's lifetime. If you look closely at a shark's jaw, you can see that the teeth are arranged like a conveyor belt, with new teeth forming in the back and old teeth moving forward to the front and eventually falling out to be replaced by the ones behind them. If you thought elasmobranch teeth were weird, just wait until I show you the claspers. Strap in. Things are about to get very romantic. Most fish reproduce via external fertilization. The female releases thousands of eggs into the water, and the male releases a cloud of sperm to fertilize them. Sharks and rays do things a bit more intimately. Males have a pair of appendages under their pelvic fins called claspers, which are kind of like penises, but not really. Breeding occurs when a male sticks one of his claspers into the cloaca of a female, releasing his sperm and fertilizing the eggs internally. I hate that I did that. This brings us to our miraculously pregnant stingray. The Aquarium and Shark Lab by Team Echo posted this on their Facebook page. Now I'm gonna read it word for word because you'll see. Good morning, Facebook followers. This is a post you might want to read. Our stingray, Charlotte, is expecting. We have held this close to our hearts for over three months. We have ultrasound images confirmed by two supporters, Dr. Robert Jones, the aquarium vet out of Australia, and Becca Campbell, PhD candidate at Arizona State Univ... The really amazing thing is we have a no male ray. We do have a, a couple of possible reasons for this event. We will go live with our next ultrasound on Thursday, February 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We hope you will join us. It is a once in a lifetime science mystery to take part in. I admit that was a little bit mean, but you're a scientific institution. Use spell check. Anyway, 
The live stream ultrasound took place on the 8th, and can still be viewed on their Facebook page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. In the video, it's explained that Charlotte the California Round Stingray has become pregnant, even though she's never had contact with a male. However, she shares a tank with two male white spot bamboo sharks. And the presence of bite marks on Charlotte's fins may indicate that one of the sharks attempted to breed with her. If this is the case, it would result in a litter of hybrid pups whose parents belong to two separate orders separated by over 200 million years of evolutionary divergence. Which seems unlikely. But then I remembered one of the coolest things to happen in 2019. The Sturtlefish. The Sturtlefish is a hybrid of the American Paddlefish and the Russian Sturgeon. Fish that belong to two different families separated by 184 million years of evolutionary divergence. These strange hybrids were accidentally created by researchers in Hungary, and appeared to have traits that were equal parts of both species. Enter now the grain of salt. Sturgeon and paddlefish are more closely related to each other than sharks and rays are. And they've gone through fewer evolutionary changes since they diverged. So although a shark-ray hybrid is theoretically possible, I'm still skeptical. Especially considering the fact that stingrays have been documented reproducing parthenogenically, producing offspring without fertilization. In these cases, the babies are an exact genetic clone of their mother, a phenomenon that's been observed in several species of elasmobranchs, reptiles, and invertebrates. But let's also remember that shark and ray reproduction is a very enigmatic field in marine biology. Until a few weeks ago, nobody had ever seen a newborn great white, the most famous elasmobranch to ever live. And we still have no idea where the largest fish on the planet, the whale shark, gives birth. So at the end of the day, who knows what's going to pop out of Charlotte the Stingray. Certainly not me. But I'm excited to find out. Next week, we meet the forgotten stepchild of the cartilaginous fishes, sister group to the elasmobranchs, and the sweethearts of the deep sea, the chimera. Class Holocephali. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Threads, not X. And make sure to subscribe, comment, like, whatever. And I'll see you next Friday. Until then, stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving. Strap in. Things are about to get very romantic. Ugh, I just literally bit my own <laughs> with the shark jaw.